everyone, Sue Gordon here. Welcome to this very special presentation of Suncorp Super Netball Fantasy Draft. Uh, you may be asking yourself, what is a fantasy draft? I actually asked myself the same question. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to be selecting four teams here today with my very special guests, and I'll introduce you to those in just a moment's time. But there are 80 contracted players in the Suncorp Super Netball League. And we're going to open all of them up for selection today. So, for example, someone like Joe Harton might get selected to be feeding the Jamaican superstar Shaquille Janiel Fowler. Or what about Laura Langman in the middle feeding someone like Liz Watson through the midcourt? That's what we're hoping you'll see here today when we get our four special teams selected. Uh, the other good news is that all of the injuries are back on track in this fantasy draft. That means someone like Caitlin Bassett, who we know got injured in the preseason. She's up for grabs today. So is Ash Brazel, who we know unfortunately did her ACL. So all the ACL gang are back in action today and can be selected. Now, the way this is going to work is each of our special guests who will be joining you in just a minute uh, will be able to take one pick per round to form their starting seven and then one additional pick that will form their bench player. So a total of eight players will be selected. So with no more further ado, let's introduce you to our special guests today. And where else do we start? None other than the skipper of the nine netball team, uh, way up there in northern New South Wales on the farm. Uh, let's give a big shout out and a round of applause. 122 caps for the Australian Diamonds. Ladies and gentlemen, Liz Alice, welcome Lizzie. Great to be here, Gordy, and it's great to see your happy, smiling face from the other side of the country. I've missed you. So we will now introduce our second special guest today, 108 caps for the Diamonds, 254 National League caps for the Swiss. That's a lot of netball and the Fever and the Vixens. We could call you a, bit, a little bit of a netball hopper around, but who cares? Anyhow, you're here today, Catherine Cox. Kath, you've got the beautiful little Harper at home with you. How's all? Well, you're not actually into homeschooling yet, but are you coping through COVID-19? Well, I'll tell you what, when netball season comes back, I will be the best person at arts and crafts. <laughs> <laughs> we have been watching some of your Instagram posts. If you haven't seen it, jump on and follow Kath. Uh, let's head now to Queensland, our Firebirds and Diamonds legend, Geitzy, Laura Geitz. Laws, how are you going up there? Is it hot? Is it warm? The fan's on in the background. The fan is on in the background. It's actually quite a quite a mild day up here, enough for a, a long sleeper, and I'm just busy entertaining Gordy, my two little rugrats. I thought I used to be fit when I played netball, but I tell you what, I have two boys. I reckon if I did the yo-yo now, I'd be setting an absolute benchmark. <laughs> Well, but I reckon the difference would be if you do the yo-yo and you have to, like, if you've got kids, you do the yo-yo, but you've got to dodge the Lego. Because when you walk through the house at night, when they go, mom, and then the Lego uh, sort of gets you under your feet, I think that would be a true test, don't you reckon, Dietzy? Oh, absolutely. I've got a new exercise for the girls in isolation that are current players is a side squat. So put a, put a toddler on one hip and then a newborn on the other and bend down and pick up that piece of Lego, Liz. <laughs> Oh, terrific stuff. I'm glad I don't have kids. I've got a dog. Moving on, right, at least now <laughs> we need to get to our last, our last special guest here today. We've got Alice, we've got Cox, we've got Gikes. I don't even have to announce this lady's name. You're likely to hear her before you see her, but folks, it is none other than Shani Layton. Shani. I'm here, team, and golly, is it good? Laura Geitz, it's so unlike you to have a fan in the room, you know, one of our favourites, really. <laughs> and uh, Coxie, if Coxie is a uh, hop around in teams, I'm going to make her look like an absolute angel because I'm pretty sure I got the most cats for amount of teams that I played in. So... You're welcome. Uh, it is already on for young and old. That's how we expect the banter to go, folks, whilst we go through the fantasy draft. Before we do, we actually need to find out each of our special guests' team names. So I'm coming straight over to you, Lizzie Ellis. Have you got a name for your team? I do, Gordy, but I just want to say first, I'm sitting back a little bit because you didn't ask me what I've been doing in lockdown. You just took the opportunity to, to have a shot at me about my headphones. But I've been going through my old netball gear, so I thought I'd sort of just sport a few different things. This is my tracksuit top from uh, uh, sort of early to mid-1990s. Coxie, I can see you frowning at the fashion choices. Do you like the angle? Can you get the mock balls out? 
That's a bit sniffy. I'll give you that. It is very it's early old. Nineteen hundreds, there, Liz. <laughs> Actually, this should be in black and white, shouldn't it? It's so odd. And I was going to wear it so I would look like a proper selector, and I had all ready to have this up. But um, unlike Gutsy, I don't have a fan in the room, so I'm going to have to take it off and do a little <laughs> before I tell you the name. So the name of my team is Lizzie's Lockdown Legends. Oh, that's terrific, Liz. I'm not sure if we just uh, increased our viewer rating or decreased it when you took <laughs> that top off. All right, let's move on <laughs> to Catherine Cox. Coxie, name of your team, please. Well, I won't give you a half an hour build up to it like it else <laughs> tends to do. Mine is the Coxie's Crushers. <laughs> we'll go over to Coxie. Uh, Laura Guides, a team name from you, please. Who doesn't want to be a part of the uh, Guides' Grunters? for the 2020 fantasy draft. Gotsies, um, grunters. Go, Sean. I don't. Um, <laughs> I... <laughs> Johnny, aren't you supposed to be getting married somewhere? Oh, yeah. I actually brought um, a bit of Hawaii with me today, so... Mm. What's in go. that? <laughs> no what time is it? Hawaii, unfortunately. <laughs> no, my husband or future husband didn't run away. It was the COVID that stopped me from getting married. So for now, uh, today's team is going to be called, I was a bit of a Buffy fan growing up, Shani Slayers. Oh. Terrific stuff, Shani. I have just received a phone call from your neighbours and they've asked if you could keep it down. All righty, <laughs> moving on. Uh, so the way we've got to do this, we've got to have a random selection to see who goes first, second, third and fourth. So we will do that and I can announce in the random selection, Shani, you will be first up and I think that's a big win, my friend. Uh, second, Catherine Cox. Happy with that? Oh, well, not really, but that's all that's on offer. <laughs> well, third, third, Guidesy, we're heading up to you. You'll be the third pick. Fantastic. Happy with which that. Me which means Liz is fourth and where she should be. So what will happen, guys, is each of the guests will get our uh, a, a one pick each. As we said, it'll be Shani first, then Kath, then Liz. Uh, sorry, then Laura, then Liz. Liz, you'll then take the very next pick. So you'll get selection number four and five and we'll work backwards. And that's how we'll go through the first two rounds. So Shani, we're going to get underway with our Suncorp Super Netball Fantasy Draft. You are our very first pick. Who will be your first selection? Look, team, I am very excited about this. And I think considering I am probably the fourth best netballer in this uh, team or in this, in this environment right now. So I definitely deserve first pick. Um, and we all know that you can't go past the defenders and on top of defenders, you can't go past the best goalkeeper in the competition. So pick one for me is going to be the number one goalkeeper from the Adelaide Thunderbirds, Shamira Sterling. And Shamira just heard that from Adelaide, actually. So she's sitting in Adelaide clapping, going, who said my name? <laughs> Shani, Shani, I think you've just broken the hearts of your three fellow uh, Suncorp Super Nipple fantasy draft guests here. Coxie, I imagine that Sterling may have been first on your list. She is now gone. You are up for selection or pick number two. You are going with. Well, look, it's not a bad thing. We're right at the top and we've got a very big pool of talent. But Shani! Oh, my God. Okay, let's just think about this then. Let's go to the other end of the court anyway where it's better. I'm going to go with the West Coast Fever, goal shooter who's going to score me a ridiculous amount of goals, Janille Fowler. Yep. The big Jamaican, Shaquille Janille, heads to Catherine Cox's side, Shamira Sterling, down with Leighton. We move now. Across to Laura Geitz. Geitzy, two big towers already done and dusted. Are you staying at each end of the court or are you going to move into the middle? I've got a feeling you're going to the middle. Oh, Gordy, you're all over it. Um, I must say, intentions were to load up the D end, but seeing, seeing two big guns have gone either end, I'm going to go with the one and only big gun that runs the middle, and that is the wonderful Laura Langman. No! Fuck it, Shani. Shani, you got first pick. You can't have everything one at a time. <laughs> like everything. Wow. So, as expected, I did uh, forecast this in my head that those would be the first three to go. So, we've got a, two Jamaicans 
and a Kiwi. Be nice if we could pick an Aussie. Liz, what do you reckon? Look, I'm going to go for an Australian player. And uh, because I get two picks in a row, I'm looking at combinations with my first couple of picks. So all you lot were laughing, ha, ha, ha. Shani gets first pick and then, you know, Coxie and Geitzy. Well, as fourth, I don't mind because I get to choose my combinations. So waiting to see who went where. Uh, I'm going to pick an Australian. And even though I'm going to pick an attacking player, she did win the Liz Ellis Diamond. So I get to, you know, talk about myself a bit, which is obviously my favourite subject. So uh, I'm going with... Uh, the former Gretel Skippet, but Gretel, is it Bueta? Is that how I say her name, Geitzy, now? It, you got to do it, Gretel Bueta. Oh, okay. So I'm going with Gretel Bueta. I feel like I need some maracas. <laughs> Gretel Bueta <laughs> is going some. in at goal attack for me. What are you laughing at, Catherine? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too early in the day for me to dance, isn't there? Do you know, sometimes uh, I get asked to go on Dancing with the Stars. There's not enough wine in the world to make me dance on television. <laughs> and here I am. I'm dancing on television for Gretel. Yeah. But we've got enough Corona for me to watch at least. Um, so, Buetta, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is an impressive choice. Uh, and uh, Buetta, first up, guys, a big thanks. Once we actually get Suncorp Super Netball back on track, we will be saying thank you because uh, none of us knew how to pronounce Gretel's new name. So, we are there. Lizzie. You were the only one that's done your homework. I know you would have spent hours on end because you thought, if by chance I ended up at pick four... <laughs> <that's> no. <laughs> Do you know what makes me laugh? I laugh that Shani's probably not got a note, but she's put herself in front of a bookshelf to make out that she's smart. I'm like, Shani, you actually need notes. You've got to do writing with your hand. And <laughs> I've got no sleep. Don't judge me. <laughs> I've got a whole shelf of books that I don't read, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like feel... Catherine, you go into her house and it's got a massive bookshelf and it's just biographies of David Beckham. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> and What's the point, Liz? Is there something wrong with that? I'm confused. Anyone? Foxy, I'm Team Cox. Sean, what about all the journals we kept from um, the Diamond Stays? You know how we used to put diary entries every night? Dear diary, today no, we... Do you know what? <laughs> I didn't even plan this. We have my diamonds journal. Stop it. I'm not even lying. And look at this one. I named it Diamonds in the Rough. Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. But you're going to have to really suck up to me to get some entries out of those. <laughs> well, are you actually, Shani, I've got a book on my bookshelf. Hang on. Yeah. Stay with me. Is that the history out. of netball? <laughs> this whole show has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> you're the actual learning books, Liz. No, no, well, these two you could learn from. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but given that you're about to get married, right? How about yep. you take a copy of my latest book? Oh, <laughs> I need that one. Send that down. I, I, feel like, I feel like my job as the host is to ring this back in. This self-promotion is... And, the only reason is, Kath, because I know the next book you're going to bring out is adults only, so we can't go down that direction. <laughs> no word of a lie. I'm looking at one. I'm like, probably not appropriate. <laughs> we have got through round one, which most of you are probably dying to know what's going to happen in round two. So we're up to selection number five. Liz Ellis, you are at okay. selection number five. You've just come off the back of selection four, which was Gretel Buetta, formerly Tippett. Who is pick number five for you? Well, obviously, I'm working on combinations, right? So it pains me to say this, but I, I'm wrapped that Gretel's still available because I wanted to build my team, my front line around a goal attack. So then I have to choose whether to choose a wing attack or a shooter next. Uh, and oh, look, to be honest, the shooters are a bit dime a dozen. They're all outstanding. So I'm going to leave the shooters and sort of see who falls into my lap because you could pick any of the ones that are in Suncorp Netball and they're going to do the job. What I need is to get the ball to them. So I'm going to go Lizzie Watson at wing attack for my second pick. Yes. Like anyone would think you actually know how to play the game, Liz Ellis, or coach it at least. Well, I can name a team. Actually coaching it, someone else's job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why they get paid the big bucks. All right, so Lizzie Ellis has had her two. We now go back through the line. So we're now going back to you, Laura Geitz. I'm stoked that this lady hasn't been chosen and I'm going to pick her purely because I think she is a outstanding defender and also her connection with my first pick, Langman. And my number two pick 
Yes, Coxie, you know it. Carla Pretorius, <laughs> the Sunshine Coast Lightning. Boo. So, Kath, I'll take it upon that boo. She was your next choice? Well, she was. Now what's a girl to do? I actually am going to go with a little bit of school of thought from Liz Ellis. Can't believe I just said that. But there are so many shooters around and my defender is gone. So I'm going to go to the midcourt and I'm going to go Kate Maloney from the Melbourne Vixens. I want her in my centre position for now. But I know she can do everything. Well, she can. That's right. So she could end up being your captain there as well. So Kath Cox goes with Maloney for her second round pick. That means we come back to our final selection. And that will be with Shani Leighton. And that will bring us to the end of our first two rounds. Leighton, this is a big one for you, my friend. Look, um, Liz, I love your philosophy around, you know, picking great combinations. But... You know, my team's just about winners. Um, <laughs> I'm all about the individual. Um, I did move to the Collingwood Magpies. And the person that I'm going to pick is going to be also one of those amazing players that moved with me. And her name in the wing defence position is Ash Brazzle. Oh, oh, nice. And, folks, yes. the first player selected that's on the injury list that we've moved back in mm. to the actual... Mm. Players, so that's great news. Ash Braz gets a gig in 2020. Shani Layton, some impressive stuff from you. So there you go, folks. That's the first two rounds selected of our Suncorp Super Netball Fantasy Netball Draft. Uh, it was pretty impressive, and I reckon for the best part, most of the big names that we expected to go are done and dusted. So we still have a couple of more episodes to get through the next few rounds, but let's just take a look back now and have and see. Who actually selected what in our first two rounds? So we can look at the team and we can see Shani picked up Shamira Sterling from the Adelaide Thunderbirds alongside Ash Brazzle from the Collingwood Magpies. Uh, Kath Cox, lovely. Janelle Fowler from West Coast Fever alongside Kate Maloney from the Melbourne Vixens. Laura Geitz with her selection of Laura Langman, an absolute huge one at that, alongside Carla Pretorius. So two players Ooh. from the Sunshine Coast Lightning. Mm -hmm. That is a big win early in my eyes. And last but not least, Liz Ellett. She had selection four and five. She went with Gretel Bruetta, formerly Tippett, and alongside that, the feeding machine from the Melbourne Dixons of Liz Watson. So there you have it, folks. The first two rounds done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed what was one of the most comical shows I've seen going around. At the <laughs> you haven't watched a lot of television, have you, Gordy? No, Liz, I have not. But anyhow, I want to put us <laughs> right up there. Uh, so we'll be back next week where we get to go through rounds three, four and five. So I hope you'll join us then. Say goodbye, everyone. <laughs>